In the last episode, we explored Roderick. We really loved the atmosphere on the island. It was just the right mixture between having everything available and still living a little bit in the past. This is Operation Let the Lady Sleep. Yes. We chose to do the 350 miles in two nights and one day instead of the other way around. Eight and a half knots all of a sudden. No, that's more than expected. We could be slow, we didn't have to rush, so we actually didn't even change any sail during the trip. Looking good! And now it's one hour to the south, where we have to go to the customs dock. Entering Port Louis brings you in a complete different world, like the modern world again. Even though if you go to the market, you still have the feeling that you are in Asia or not in Europe at least. Looks like someone is happy that we are there. After checking in at the customs dock, we went to the harbor where the whole fleet would come together in the next couple of days. So see uh, Victor working hard. He was up late. Hello. 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 We have the local sailmaker check out the main sail. He sold us some insignia tape so that if we get more holes, then at least we are able to repair it ourselves. It doesn't need to take the main sail off to repair it, right? You better keep it like this and then I'll cut you something. I mean, you, I'm sure you can go even further than South Africa, but after two years. Hello. We visited the canyon with the big turtles, it was very nice. Surfing in between the turquoise water on the, side, uh, on the south side of the island. Very good. Oh, I didn't see you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I was behind you. Oh, there you go. Good job. I think so because we're here. Yeah. We're just not used to such busy places anymore. We're going away. And we all of a sudden have an extra crew member. After a couple of days in Port Louis, we're off up north to Grand Bay, where the program will start.
pretty dark behind us. It looks dark behind us. The wind around the island is exactly north, so we have to tack. Even though it's only a small distance, it takes us some time. And we arrive in Grand Bay, I think an hour before dark. It's kind of blue in front of us, but there's a big dark cloud over the mountains which gives us 70 degrees different wind than the forecast. Awesome track today. Zigzag, zigzag. Banana, banana, banana. We were very welcome in the Grand Bay Yacht Club. The Weekend Benedict lived here for a while, so I have loads of friends here. It really pays off that Jean-Pierre and his wife Shirley are organizing a lot for us around the island. We are very grateful about that. So what time is it? Late enough to cook pancakes. I think it's not even seven. Eh? <laughs> or maybe just... <laughs> Boat has to get used to this because I don't think that we ever had breakfast before seven. Aline, uh, she's a daughter or a semi daughter of Paul. These are famous YouTubers. They're from that boat, Kumbaya. Oh, that would be great because. Let us know when you go. Yeah, please let us know because I would love to. Shopping! Well, I think we have enough for the next month now, or? I don't think so. Well, we got a lift. It's always nice to see... Enough. 
to see people that missed us. Hey. <laughs> Have a fire on October 12th. Any other boys will arrive today, I guess. Ready for diving? Yes! Hopefully the sun is coming out completely. Oh, it's, it's getting better and better. Yeah, but 20 minutes earlier it was super cloudy. Two dives this morning? Yes. Did they tell you where, the, where you would go? No. to leave as there's a wedding today tomorrow we'll be back here as they are offering us a breakfast just before the regatta we are getting a lot of compliments about our dinghy and i think a beautiful boat deserves a beautiful dinghy so it's a perfect combination Early in the morning, nice and quiet. And for some edit, if it's ready. We're invited for breakfast before the regatta. 30 people of the old club are going to join us. Everybody's already getting ready for the race today, the fun race. The monoalts can start 20 minutes before the catamarans under 50 feet. And Mark's preparing all the sails already. Not sure which we will use today. On Saga, the very famous Louis Perron is joining. He's a very famous French sailor. He won several races around the world. My on earth on Nap Nap was helping to get the main on.
At the first boy we had to round, he came in trouble, sort of sandwiched between two canoes and Saga. I was planning to stay more behind because Mark had a drone in the air and Mina was filming, so I was pretty much on my own. But one way or the other, Great Circle sort of caught up with two canoes and then I ended up in the middle. So I started the engine and dragged the boy a little bit my way. In the end, luckily there was no damage and we could continue the rally or the race or whatever you will call it. You got on the boy! There was not a lot of wind and then only with the Solent, without being able to use the Code Zero, we would be really slow. But we didn't mind, we had a very nice atmosphere on the boat, we had a lot of fun and it was a nice sail. Oh my god. Ready for packing. DJ is using his local knowledge of the rocks and steering. Without him, we wouldn't stand a chance. I was really happy that DJ took the wheel for a while. You could see that he was an experienced sailor and he knew the area. Always when something happens like this, I'm calm at the moment. I was starting the engines and trying to save the boat. But afterwards, I need some time and I need some space to relax. So DJ, thank you very much for giving me that opportunity.
and for the last part of the race we can use the Jenneker. And then finally we can make some decent speed for Great Circle. Nina is the whole day working hard with the camera and we are very grateful for that. That's the finish line. Saga was first, Tukin is second. And it looks like we are third. Number four will be Impossible and number five Loli. Congratulations to Saga! And both Impossible and Loli won the race in their category. Nobody went overboard. Did you like it? I love. Really? Yes. It was really nice. Really nice. And uh, Eric is going to buy a new now as well. <laughs> it's too, too. <laughs> I guess it's going to. <laughs> 
In the next episode, we are going to make a round tour around Mauritius. Thank you.